everyone. Today is um, Friday, the 15th of October, 2021, and I've succeeded to wear the e-stop of the of the, the safety, well, part of the safety secret of the electrical panel. So I'm now testing it. I've wired, um, well, partly wired for two machines, and I'm testing it now to see if it's running fine before I continue running the rest of the machine. So I'll show you what I've done. So I've plugged it 400 volts and, uh, and that is the project that I'm doing. So if you remember, I was doing the e-stop. I was doing the the safety secret. So this is a safety trip when it's stripped, and this is when it, what it shows. So right now, it's stripped. That's what it's showing. So I've only wired that machine, and I've I've done the meal as well, which is the the big inverter. But I've not finished with the inverter, so I'm going to connect some motors also to test it. So I wired them. And uh, I'm going to test them now. There's power here, there's 400 volts here. So I'm going to um, remove the e-stop and push the reset button so that this light will disappear. And, and then the mains contactor has pulled in. You see the inverter has come alive. This inverter is ready too to run and that inverter is ready to run. And this is the safety, this is the pure safety relay, which is governing these two contactors. So I've only wired this direct online. So if I push the start button now, you hear, hear the machine, you hear the contactor pulling. So that's, uh, that's the cyclone. So the cyclone is running. I still have to do all these machines. This one, two, three. But these, those three machines will now depend on the, on the, on this inverter, because I want it to be started via um, RPM switch. So when this inverter reaches 50 hertz and the motor is running at full speed, then it will trigger these three motors. Right now, uh, I need to uh, develop um, an electronic device to do this, an embedded system to do this. Uh, they said it could be done with encoder, but the kind of environment that this, is, this has to run, I don't think that in, an encoder will solve the problem. What could solve the problem is uh, a capacitive sensor which will be a capacitive sensor which will be um, counting the revolution of the of the of the mill and then transferring it to the and transferring it to, to the RPM switch. So the RPM switch is supposed to um, trigger these relays here and these relays will bring in these motors. The three remaining motors, these three remaining motors here. So that's what's remaining now. What's remaining now is to get that one done. That's going to be my next step to um, to activate an output. To activate an output from that um, from this inverter. So now that's going to be our next stop. So if I push the E stop. This is to indicate one of this is to indicate that this machine is running. That light is is to indicate that that machine is active. It's not that it's running; it's active, because they want to know. So if the machine trips, if the machine blocks up and trips, they want to know. So what I've done is that if that switch trips, I want I want to cut off power from it. So this is supposed to be it. So if that switch trips, they should know. So people in the factory will know that this machine is the one that has a problem, you know. 
they know that this is the machine that has a problem because there are many machines there. So they want to know which one, when there's a problem. And when this one pulls off, when this machine trips, you're not supposed to be able to start the mill either. You're not supposed to be able to start this one, the big in there. So if I push it back in, the light will come on, will come back on. The light will come back on to say that there's no problem with the uh, with uh, with the magnet with the um, ma magnetic uh, thermic uh, magnetic thermal switch. There's no problem with it. That's what life that light is saying. But when we trip, when we push an e stop, if we push an e stop button, it's going to trip the whole thing. It's going to trip that light as well. If we push an e stop, and then it's going to bring in the safety trips. So if there is a, a safety issue, it's going to uh, also tell the operator this is a safety issue. So that's the whole plan. So now we've got this one done. We've got that one done. We're going to do this one. And uh, this one wouldn't be a problem, but we'll do it. And then the output is going to trigger one, two, three. And then that one is, go that one is going to be independent, but it also depends on all these machines. This is the last one. It's going to be independent that's the feed but it also depends on all of it on all other ones now why is that button pushed in something is wrong with it i have to deal with it it's pushed in so that's not right that's not right the button is a bit okay looks like it's working okay Thank you and uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see how this project is developing and going along. Thank you and uh, see you on the next one.